To all those members of the working press who are here, I'd like you to know that all of Andy Randall's comments were on the record except those pertaining to the mayor of the city of Cleveland. We welcome you to this series. It is a beginning, a beginning of a very important discussion that is coming at a very important time in the evolution of our city, our families, our state, our country, and indeed the world. It certainly is a time to enjoy, a time to celebrate, and there will be many, many celebrations, large and small, but it is also a time to think, a time to reflect, a time to wonder upon wonder, and to peer just a little bit into the future, and maybe even to ask the question of where do I stand, where do we stand, and where are we going? We start this Millennium Series, this community conversation today with a world citizen whom I have the honor of introducing. But before I do that, I want to thank all of our sponsors, some of whom you have heard today for their outstanding commitment, not just to this series, but to our community. And I wish you would join me in a round of applause on behalf of all of our sponsors today. Robert Grease and Jennifer Sanchez. From Independence High School and Independence, Karen Kurtz. We welcome all of you. Ladies and gentlemen, we had hoped that the beginning of this series would probably encourage us to scratch our head, to think a little bit about the future, to wonder about what our role is in that future. For all of the challenges we face as a community, the challenge of educating our children, the challenge of evolving into this new, brave world of technological supremacy, the new world of ensuring the safety of our borders and the new world of medical technology. It still remains today, 203 years after our beginning, that the question of race in Cleveland, and indeed the question of race in America, is a question which must be continually asked, continually pondered, and continually worked at. We are indeed that rainbow that Archbishop Tutu talks so much about, the rainbow of all colors, all tongues, all religions, a rainbow that is a composite of boys and girls who have become men and women from all over the world who now call their home Cleveland. But now the challenge for all of us is to ensure that we do all that we can as we approach the 21st century to make this a holistic community, an accepting community, a respecting community. Who else to begin this discussion would be better than a man who has indeed been called upon by God to work God's miracles, to stand up against the tyranny of racist apartheid and to indeed say to Pharaoh, let my people go. Every day living with the possibility of his own death, but never looking back, only looking forward, listening to the voice of God and the people of South Africa. It is indeed my honor today, my fellow citizens, to not only present the Archbishop Desmond Tutu to you, but to also present, as he comes forward, the highest award that this city can give to anyone, and that is the key to our city. Ladies and gentlemen, the Archbishop Desmond Tutu.
Mr. Mayor, Mr. Randall, distinguished members of the platform party, all of you very wonderful ladies and gentlemen, young people. What a very, very great privilege it is to be standing here at the launch of this quite exhilarating campaign to begin this forthcoming millennium. I greet you. Good afternoon. I have to say that that was somewhat of a lousy response, wasn't it? Uh, I thought, I mean, that uh, we would be slightly more enthusiastic. Good afternoon. Ah, that's, that's a slight improvement, yes. Thank you very, very much. We had a wonderful, wonderful welcome at the airport from children and young people representing the diverse ethnic groups of this beautiful city. Thank you for that very, very warm welcome. And could you please uh, give those people there a very warm round of applause. It is a very great privilege to be participating in this series under the aegis of the City Club of Cleveland, which has been outstanding in promoting tolerance and the freedom of speech, which has sought to say it is possible for people to differ and yet to be able to live amicably together. I commend this club very, very warmly for being a beacon, a symbol, and a sentinel for freedom, for justice, for tolerance, and I believe I might just be allowed also to say on behalf of freedom. <laughs> Sometimes people say these speakers are very well known. He's very well known. He doesn't need to be, he doesn't need to be introduced. Uh, well, one day I, I was in uh, San Francisco when a lady rushed up to greet me very, very warmly. And, and she said, hello, Archbishop Mandela. Uh, <laughs> <clears throat> sort of getting two for the price of one. <clears throat> But I come from that country, South Africa, which for a very, very long time decreed that people of different races should be separated under a vicious policy known as apartheid. Americans have pronounced it rather nicely uh, as apartheid but it would be to, to be, to hate apart, apart hate. 